Hello guys, uh, in this tutorial we will uh, see how to debug the plugin using the plugin profiler. Mm, this is Sanjay from softship.com. Uh, so let's uh, uh, go to the tutorial. So this is a plugin that I have built uh, uh, and we will register it and check how to debug this plugin. Now, uh, first of all, build this plugin and so right for this right click the solution and uh, build the plugin and uh, we have to once you build we have to uh, pick the uh, dll file from bin folder So, so we have to wait uh, for the uh, success of the build. <coughs> So now the build is all substituted. Now we have to open this uh, folder in a Windows Explorer, and we have to go to the bin folder and the back folder and copy the path. Now go to plugin some tool and uh, register new assembly. Here we have to choose the assembly location here. I have just copied the assembly location and I will paste here and I will choose this plugin here and then I will load the assembly. And then I will select uh, all the uh, plugins and now I will register the plugin. Yeah. I have registered the plugin now. The next thing is we have to add a step here. Once the plugin will be visible in the list. So this is the plugin here and we will right click and add a new step, register new step. And let's say my uh, plugin will run on create of account and uh, this should be post operation and synchronous. Now register the new step. Now I have created the new step. Now to use plugin profiler you have to install the profiler here you can see in the bar given bar now it will try to install the profiler for you you have to wait for the successful installation of the profiler so it will take some uh, minutes we have to wait <coughs>
roll number two take some time to get installing the file. So now the profiler is installed successfully. You, you will click OK. Now what to do? You just click this and uh, start profiling. Click start profiling um, button. Now click OK. Once you click OK, the uh, step uh, that you want to uh, debug will be profiled and the icon will be changed as it is profiled. Now the next thing is we will go to uh, CRM window and uh, go to uh, the entity to trigger the plugin and uh, then we will collect the error message and we will debug it. Now we will go to account as my plugin is uh, designed to run on account entity when I create an account then the plugin should trigger but as I have profiled now whenever I will create the account it will not be created rather it will uh, it will prompt us to download a uh, you know error file uh, which will be used in plugin profiler concept now let's say i i want to trigger the plugin by creating a new account let's say click new here if I will give the account name as uh, Apple INC and I will try to save it then it will show me an error because the step in the plugin I have registered is profiled see this is showing to uh, showing the business process error saying that download the details and load the problem profiler now we have to download the log file and save somewhere in your local disk let's say let me, let me save this on desktop now the next thing is i will go to user studio and try to attach the process go to debug and And you will find the option called as attach process. Attach process. Now, in attach to process option, you have to select the plugin registration tool. Go down to find out the plugin registration tool. Here, here we go. This is the option, and we will attach it now. Once we attach the plugin registration tool, we actually uh, process. Then we have to go to the plugin registration tool to start the execution debug process. So, for now, I will give a breakpoint at this line because I want to see the debugger to hit this line first. Now, I will go to plugin registration tool and uh, yeah. here I will try to click debug. Once I will click debug, it will prompt you to choose the assembly location 
and the error uh, file that we have just downloaded while creating the account record. <coughs> Now I choose the profiler, then in the profiler we have to select the error file that we have downloaded. So here we go, this is the file that we have downloaded. And uh, the next thing is we have to select the assembly location. <coughs> assembly location is nothing but the uh, path that where you are DLL is stored, so this is the DLL part that I have stored in, in the project. And uh, we can start execution now. Once we start execution, the debugger will hit uh, in the line of code that we have uh, uh, defined in our Visual Studio uh, project. Now go to the Visual Studio. You will find the yellow highlighted uh, line of code in Visual Studio Code. <coughs> yes. Now, now you can see the developer is trying to hit the line of code that we have uh, uh, specified for the developing purpose. Yes. Now this is how the debugger come to uh, the line of code that we have uh, specified. Now you can press F10 to let the control to flow line by line, and you can check the values that are uh, that you want to debug or check the values of the objects. Now I can also check the result view of the entity object. So these are all the inputs that I am getting. So once you press F10, then you can uh, you can go to the next line. So this is the logical name we are getting, and the account name also we are getting a Jack Lyons. Then here, this is trying to create an opportunity report. Now my uh, profiler is uh, my, I have uh, done my debugging, and I have uh, uh, I have to close the profiler now. Okay, now we can stop this here. I want to stop the debugging right now as I have already checked my code and the debug is success, so it comes to here. Now I will press F5. Now my compiler is done, my debugging is successful. So I will stop this here and I will go to plugin registration tool and I will try to close it. Now I will select the uh, plugin step and I will create uh, stop profiling so that I will I will remove the profiler against that uh, step uh, so that uh, other users will not face any problem. So thank you guys. This is uh, this was the session where we have discussed how to use plugin profiler by installing the profiler and uh, you know, uh, debugging and attaching the uh, registration tool as a process in Visual Studio. So thank you for your patience. So we will uh, uh, discuss some more uh, apps on this plugin in the next session. And in the meantime, you can also go to our channel, subject.com, to find out more uh, video tutorials which will help you in developing uh, uh, projects. Uh, to, uh, Thank you.